Mayors of two small Washington County cities speaking out their frustrations with the United States Postal Service. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chelsea Helms. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill is live in studio to break down these concerns. Kelly? Chelsea, well, despite substantial development in the city of Elm Springs, sales tax has gone down this year for the city. And in Tawnytown, Mayor Paul Colvin says sales tax revenue has remained the same instead of increasing like he expected. This, among other issues that have popped up from confusion with zip codes and last line addresses. You know, little bitty towns across America that are the backbone of the United States are not getting their fair shake. Three separate zip codes cover the city of Tawnytown. 72762 is shared by the city of Springdale. The only one that signifies Tawnytown on it is a P.O. box. So if you don't have a P.O. box, then your mail is going to be Springdale or Fayetteville. This shared zip code, Tawny Town Mayor Paul so, Colvin says, has been an issue for years. Well, not just a, a tax base issue, but from folks being able to not get medicine that they need to our own water department having mail sent back to us because the sorting process in Springdale can't seem to figure it out on occasion. Over in Elm Springs, similar problems, including sales tax revenue dropping from $12,000 to $9,000 from last fiscal year to 2019. Something needs to be done about this. Mayor Harold Douthit lives in Elm Springs, but his mailing address says he lives in Springdale. What happens is I order my medication by phone. I've been at the same address since 1999. My prescription goes to the address in Springdale. The carrier in Springdale has no idea who I am. He writes across it, no such address. It gets sent back to the VA. I'm without medication. Over 40 of his citizens say they're experiencing their own problems when it comes to their mailing address. I don't want to change our addresses. I don't want to change our 911 addresses. I don't want to change our zip code. I just want it to say Elm Springs instead of Springdale. Both Mayor Colvin and Mayor Douthit say they have reached out to the USPS and several state lawmakers, but nothing has changed. We reached out to the U.S. Postal Service. They provided us with this statement. The U.S. Postal Service has developed a uniform process to review these requests. In order to determine if a request can be implemented, requests undergo a careful analysis of the cost and service implications of making the change. The Postal Service strives to always provide the best possible service, and we have not been made aware of any delayed mail in the cities mentioned. But these city officials say enough is enough. You know, a lot of the, the problems that we're seeing um, could diminish if we were allowed to at least add our name to the 72762 or issue us our own zip code. I want my address to say Elm Springs. That's where I live. And you can read a full statement from the U.S. Postal Service on our website, fox24news.tv. Live in studio, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.